A new FDA-approved device is helping those who struggle with sleep apnea. It's a disorder that puts you at a much higher risk for heart failure, diabetes, even death. The Now's Ray Daniels shows us how that new device has changed one man's life. What's supposed to be about eight hours of sleep a night for adults, well, for Sean Johnston, he was only getting about an hour and a half. Um, I was sleeping, and then I'd just be woken up and just couldn't breathe. For 10 years, Johnston struggled with his central sleep apnea. And it even got worse. Uh, I'd start forgetting my name, and sometimes my kids' names when they came around. Uh, so that was really, really bothersome. With this disorder, sometimes at night, the brain forgets to tell the body to breathe. Every time that someone wakes up, in his case, maybe 50 times an hour, um, there's a shot of adrenaline that the body produces to wake him up to say, hey, you need to breathe. Every time, that's like playing Russian roulette. Slowly losing his memory, impacting his work and family. That was Johnston's turning point. Whenever you look at something that you love, that you saw, come into this world and you struggle even for a second and you just can't remember their name, you know, that's heartbreaking. To change that, there was this new implantable device to help with the disorder. There's a wire that goes down the vein on the left side of the heart. Um, that goes down and then it'll pace it. St. Luke's was the leading clinical trial site across the country when the device was being tested. This particular device showed that it decreased the number of the stoppage of breaths by more than 50 percent um, in almost all the patients. After surgery, since having this device in his body, Johnston now remembers the feeling of getting a good night's sleep. When it got turned on for the first time, I felt like that was the first time I slept in over 10 years. You know, I feel like I have just a normal life. In Kansas City, Ray Daniel, the Now KC. And since the clinical trial, St. Luke's has helped roughly 14 patients who suffer from central sleep apnea.